This ruling on Douglas Badger comes just a couple weeks after another judge rejected the placement of yet another sexually violent predator, Merle Wakefield, at that same home. We're just grateful that both judges uh, looked at the area, um, thought about it, and made the right choice. A sentiment echoed by District Attorney Summer Steffen, who said in a statement, the Mount Helix home is near a music academy and a child care site. And we're glad the court recognized it is not an appropriate placement site for a sexually violent predator. Supervisor Joel Anderson said he is troubled that 60% of all sexually violent predators or SVPs in the county are in his district, which includes East County. That's just wrong. That's dumping. That's the definition of dumping. And throughout this ordeal, Neighbors here have made it clear that they do not want these SVPs placed in similar communities. We don't want them in another neighborhood because it's the same issue. More children are in danger. They need to go somewhere that is not family oriented, not a family neighborhood. These rulings come after 10 other registered sex offenders who had been illegally placed in one home in El Cajon were removed after heated neighborhood protests. Anderson says that both the Mount Helix home and the El Cajon home had code violations, which should have precluded them from even being proposed to house sexual predators. Even though Liberty Healthcare, which contracts with the state to supervise these SVPs, said that they had vetted the locations. No matter what the outcome is, Liberty Healthcare didn't do their job. If you're going to lie about the house to the judge, what else are you lying about? And we have reached out to Liberty Healthcare for comment on these code violations, as well as any alternate housing proposals for either Douglas Badger or Merle Wakefield, but have yet to receive a response.